The Apostasy by Thomas Traherne Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug The Apostasy One star is better far than many precious stones. One sun, which is by its own lustre seen, is worth ten thousand golden thrones. A juicy herb or spire of grass, in useful virtue, native green, an emerald doth surpass, hath int more value, though less seen. No wars, nor mortal jars, nor bloody feuds, nor coin, nor griefs which those occasions saw I then, nor wicked thieves which this purloin, I had not thoughts that were impure, esteeming both women and men God's work, I was secure, and reckoned peace my choicest gem. As Eve I did believe myself in Eden set, affecting neither gold nor ermined crowns, nor aught else that I need forget. No mud did foul my limpid stream, nor mist eclipsed my sun with frowns, set off with heavenly beams, my joys were meadows, fields, and towns. Those things which cherubins did not at first behold among God's works, which Adam did not see, as robes and stones enchased in gold, rich cabinets, and such like fine inventions, could not ravish me, I thought not bowls of wine needful for my felicity. All bliss consists in this, to do as Adam did, and not to know those superficial joys which were from him in Eden hid, those little new invented things, fine lace and silks, such childish toys as ribbons are and rings, or worldly pelf that us destroys. For God, both great and good, the seeds of melancholy created not, but only foolish men, grown mad with customary folly, which doth increase their wants, so dote as when they elder grow, they then such baubles chiefly note, more fools at twenty years than ten. But I, I know not why, did learn among them too, at length, and when I once with blemished eyes began their pence and toys to view, drowned in their customs, I became a stranger to the shining skies, lost as a dying flame, and hobby-horses brought to prize. The sun and moon foregone, as if unmade, appear no more to me. To God and heaven dead I was, as though they never were. Upon some useless gaudy book, what then I knew of God was fled, the child being taught to look, his soul was quickly murdered. O oh, fine, O oh, most divine, O oh, brave, they cried, and showed some tinsel thing whose glittering did amaze, and to their cries its beauty owed. Thus I on riches, by degrees, of a new stamp did learn to gaze, while all the world for these I lost, my joy turned to a blaze. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.